Okay, Wells is big on giving um, what he considers to be a difficult problem a hint, and he's telling you to go back to section 171 in the, uh, the notes, all right? So when you go back to 171, you're gonna see this over here. Now, again, you may have remembered that, but it, it's, you know, maybe memorable to some people, other people just, I, they, they say, I can't remember anything. So the first thing I would wanna do is just write it so it looks like that, because he gave me that hint. So let's write that down. So I wanna write it as a difference of fifth powers. And what's that gonna be? The 25th root of nine, the 25th root of four. So now I know the A in the problem is gonna be the 25th root of nine, and I know the B is the 25th root of four, all right? My problem is that other section, right? So, so I, I know what the A minus B looks like in the factorization. It's this thing that's so difficult, all right? So what I wanna do is I just wanna go through the notes and I wanna point out that the first thing I put down is A to the fourth power. So this is A to the fourth power. All right, that's done. Now the next one I'd put down, let's take a look at it. It would be A cubed. Well, I'm seeing that. And then I'm seeing times B, and I'm seeing that. By the way, there's an error here. I gotta cross it off. That happens sometimes. You're not gonna see this, but I need to correct. Need to correct. All right, let me highlight that in yellow. And I'll come back and do that later. All right, let's keep going. And the next thing, I wanna see if I get that right. And I wanna, I wanna tell you what we're doing. We just did that, and we just did that. Now we're moving on to this. And what should that be? Well, let, that's gonna, it's gonna be the A being squared, and then it's gonna be the B being squared. And then what comes next? The A times the B cubed, and what's last? It's gonna be this to the fourth power. So I have to simplify those guys, and I know it's tough, but, um, and again, you're allowed to use calculators, by the way. I wanna point out, the first one is really, I gotta do nine to the fourth power, which is 81 squared. And what would you get over there? Eh, a little difficult, isn't it? That's gonna be 81, A10. Did I do that right? 81, the fourth power. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I should probably use a calculator. Uh, I'm sorry, one times 81 is 81. Zero, whoops, I gotta get my pen out. Zero, eight, 64. You get one, 16, so six, five, six, one. So this is good. By the way, this next term looks like an error to me. I'll get to it later. I wanna see if I can do this one over here. I wanna point out, I'm doing this thing over here. So it's gonna be 81 times 16. Well, let me do that first. It's 810. I'm just checking my arithmetic, by the way. Six, and six times eight is 48. You get a six, a nine, and a 12. Good, I got that one done, all right? Let me erase my baby arithmetic. Again, you're allowed to use calculators, all right? Let's go to another one. And let's do this one over here. What's that gonna be? Nine and four cubed is 64. Let's say that's 36 and nine times 60 is 540. So that's gonna be 576. I'm seeing that. And then four to the fourth power, right? That's gonna be what? 256. All right, I'm seeing that. This one, I'm pretty sure is a mistake. I gotta go through it with you though get my eraser out, get rid of my baby arithmetic, and let's go for it. Mistakes happen, any key's gonna have mistakes, including Wells' key, Wells' key mistake. By the way, in some of the problem sets, uh, Wells wouldn't even do the work on it, they were so difficult. They write a problem down, they knew it was doable, but they just wouldn't do the work, all right? I'm, I'm encouraging work, by the way, and we have digital tools now that make the work a little bit easier. But what I got, I gotta do nine cubed, right? I have to do nine cubed times four. 
Well, let's take a look at that. That's going to be 81 times 36. I'm going to do 81 times 36. And let me just do that. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. 3, and then a 24. What do you get? 6. Let's see, 8, 11, 9, 2, 9, 1, 6. So this is an error. This should be 2, 9, 1, 6. Now, by the way, with all that arithmetic, you may be at the stage saying, I don't even know why I did all that. Well, the reason you did that was to write down the factorization to it. So the factorization is going to be A minus B. And we know what A minus B is, right? This is A, and this is B. So A minus B would be, you know, the, the 25th root of 9 minus the 25th root of 4. And then I'm going to write down what I get over here. But again, there's an error. But I'm going to cross this off. And this should be 2916. All right, and I'll correct that error. So I need to correct. So this, I need to correct this over here. Need to correct. Now, when you get the notes, you're not going to see that. The reason being is I'm going to correct it. All right? So let me just take a look if I got that. Uh, the 25th root of 6i61, the 25th root of 2916, the 25th root of 1296, the 25th root of 576, and the 25th root of 256. All right. So I think you probably experienced that I do make errors. My name is Ron Bannon. You can reach me if you see an error at this email address. And I'm always appreciative of people who carefully look at a document and report errors. And I'll give you credit for it, unless you, want, unless you don't want credit. So we're done. I just got to make those corrections. Thank you.